Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the head apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, society, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Lord, when this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point, you know, just speaking on the suddenness of the famine, man. You see, in which this famine is suddenly going to climax to its height, where you Americans is actually going to be living in it, man. It's going to be your reality. You see? <clears throat> and you see the famine increasing, man. You know, more more concern is rising in the earth concerning this topic. You know, you having more videos from TikTok uploading. You know, more articles are dropping. More news reporters are covering it. You having these words, inflations and callbacks, recessions and price rising. You know, it being thrown around ultimately because the famine is increasing and the suddenness on the famine is going to bring sudden fear to your Americas, uh, your Americans, man. Once it's fully presented, you see real quick. It's Habakkuk 2 and 2. He said, the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. Yeah, in this vision, it's the prophecies, man. The things that was foretold in the scriptures to come to pass here in the latter days. You see, verse 3, he said, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah, you see, the famine didn't make sense back in 2010, man. 2013, you know, where you had fucking Walmarts and Publix, new buildings and niggas building new McDonald's and remodeling the Chick-fil-A's and shit. Yeah, the famine didn't make sense then. The people thought that the food chain was at the was at its peak, man. You see, they didn't see this coming because it was a vision that was for an appointed time, and we in that appointed time where the vision is pretty much speaking, man. You know, now you beholding the famine increase before your eyes, and it's suddenly gonna bud forth to the point where your grocery stores, your wall, you know, Dollar Generals and gas stations, all these places that store food, they ain't going to have shit for you people, man. You see, the whole land is going to be dried up. You see, real quick. <clears throat> we can just get that account uh, in Jeremiah, you see, because all the accounts in the scriptures is going to reincarnate itself in this lifetime, man. You know, real quick, this Jeremiah 52. In verse 6, he say, and in the fourth month, in the ninth day of the month, the famine was sore in the city so that so that there was no bread for the people of the land, you see, there was no bread for the people of the land. It's gonna be the suddenness of the famine in this lifetime, man. Huh? You see, real quick. Well, it's just gonna suddenly take a dramatic turn where there's gonna be no food in these storehouses, man. In which these storehouses is full of shit now, man. You know, but it's gonna come a time Walmart ain't gonna have shit on the shelves, man. Just like it, it was on the first lockdown. You see? This Sega Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. And the four storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You see? This is the suddenness of the famine. Which is just going to climax to this state, man. Where there's nothing in these stores. And it's going to bring forth sudden fear. You know? Concern is going to rise. Violence is going to rise. Evils is going to rise, man. That word evil goes into bad times. Eve meaning bad. Man. Eve meaning times and ill meaning bad, man. And that's what it, that's what's for the befall this place once that famine is fully presented. You see, he's saying, and the trumpet should give a sound, which when every man hear it, they should be suddenly afraid. You see, it's going to bring sudden fear on you Americans to the point where it's going to change your mannerism, man. You know, your Super Bowl, homie, the damn college football Saturday game night, homie, the blunt smoking, homie, your club, homies. Uh, hey, it's going to be like enemies, man, for the lack of bread, for the lack of food, man. It's going to change the people mannerism. You see, because verse 24, at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies. You see, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still. And in three hours, they should not run, you see? So the famine is going to bring forth misery, man. It's going to bring forth distress. 
perplexity because you're going to have a lot of people out here without resources. You know, no answers to how we going to eat, where we going to get our next meal from. And so that's going to lead them to get out here and get out how they live. You got to consider America. This is the wickedest country to ever erect in the planet Earth. So how much more for the people that call this place home? They don't see the wickedness. They think that this is completely normal. Well, when, once their convenience get took away, because really these Americans are beasts, man. You see, even if you consider how the society being ran from their entertainment and their diets, this is a beastly uh, a, a, a beast society, man. You see, and once the convenience get took away from these people, the mentality, the nature, the mannerism of these people going to change, man. They're going to be in each other, you know. They're going to be kidnappings and they're going to be doing whatever they can do to pretty much get resources to survive, man. A doggy dog world, get it how you live, YOLO, you know, it is what it is, spirit, man. You see? And that's why the Lord tell you to gird your loins up, man, because they, the Lord got a plethora of judgments that's going to change your uh your norm, you know, because people used to hop going home, work, flipping Flipping on the, the lights, flushing toilets, taking hot showers. Though, hey, that's a that's convenient. You know, that's luxuries. Them luxuries gonna get took away, man. You know, and real quick. Even with the food, man. You gotta have people committing ca uh, cannibalism, man. You see, real quick, man. Uh, let's find this. I believe it's in Second Kings. Man, this is just the siege of Samaria, man. And it was really going down. You see? Hey, and if you want to serve in the Lord in the time where he can be found, you know, seeking your house by Shema and Shah while he is near, in which that time is now. You got to depart from America while this bitch still flourishing, man. You got to get to know the Lord now. Yeah, that uh, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. You see? Return to that prayer. Matter of fact, Lord, will we get that? You see, real quick, we're going to get it before we go here. Because it's really for to go down, man. You know? Hey, this uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now, thy creator in the days of thy youth. You see? And this is not talking about you when you're 7 years old or 10. No. Hey, the days of thy youth. When you first come into this world's knowledge and understanding, you're pretty much born again. So you you go back to your youth days hey, and, and world's knowledge and understanding pretty much. Because you got to relearn everything, man. You know, when you coming back to your house by Shemiah Shah, the ways of America is off. And everything that you cleave to here is contrary to the ways of the powers of heaven and earth. So you have to remember your creator, man. You see why the evil days come not. So you pretty much got to do it now. America is flourishing. The evil days is not here yet. Yeah, you can still go to get something to eat. Motherfucker can go get some breakfast, right? You know, if you want. Whatever food you got a taste for, you see? So the evil days is not is not yet, you see? Nor the years draw now when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them, you see? Because that's what it's going to boil down to. You're not having pleasures in being in America because everything is going to get stripped away. And you're going to need the karakma in order to continue in the society. You know, and we know the judgments for getting the karakma, man, in which they're pushing for that. You see? But right now is the time... To get this wisdom and understanding. See verse 2 it says. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened. Nor the clouds return after the rain. That sun, light, moon and stars goes into that wisdom knowledge and understanding man. While it's not darkened. Yeah it's still on the. It's still pretty much on the platforms now man. It's still on Facebook. Uh, YouTube. TikTok. You know the, the words still out there. So this the time to get before. The judgments of your how about Shema I take hold of this place, man. And you get you left out there, you know. But this uh second Kings 6 in verse 25, he said, There was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged it until an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver, and the fourth part of the cab of dove dove's dung for five pieces of silver. So they were selling donkey heads. And bird shit, man, for money. So that they, so that the people can eat, man. And that's going to reincarnate itself right here in America. You see, verse 26. And 
And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help my lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? Out of uh out of the barn's floor or out of the wine's press, you see? And there's nothing we're gonna be able to do for you people, man. You know? What can we do when the Lord consuming you in the famine? Because ultimately, we got our own walk to walk, man. You know? And that's pretty much what it's going to boil down to. That's why you got to work out your own salvation. You got to fear the Lord. You got to believe that the famine is coming. You got to turn from America and start seeking the Lord. You see? Because can't nobody else do it for you. Who can help you when the Lord is consuming you? You know? Uh... Yeah, just verse 28. He said, and the king said unto her, What alive thee? And she answered, The woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. And seeing this was this what was going down in Samaria when the city was being sieged and the famine increased. And the famine pretty much presented itself. Yeah, the people went crazy. They started eating each other's kids, man. You know? Verse 29, so we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her, on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she had and she had hid her son, you see. So after they boiled her son, after the lady and the other lady boiled the lady's son and they ate, the plan was to, all right, now we're going to take your son and eat your son. But after they was full and fully fed, yeah, the lady, she hid her son and got up out of there, man. You know, and that's that's going to be taking place, man. You see, because real quick, that's two accounts of women boiling their kids, man. This uh, Lamentation chapter 4 and verse 10, the hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. Yeah, when you go into that word sodden, it means to boil, to cook. You see? That they were their meat and the destruction of the daughters of my people. Yeah, when that famine take hold of this place. Your kids is going to be your your meat, man. Your food. Uh, it's like you. <clears throat> Just grab this real quick right here in Leviticus. It's Leviticus 26. <laughs> and I'm going to start at verse uh, 27. If you were not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me, then will I walk contrary unto you also in fear. And I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins, and ye shall eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters. Shall ye eat? And this was for the take place, man, because you didn't want to seek your by Shemia was shot. Ultimately, to the two thirds, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians that refuse to repent and acknowledge your by Shemia was shot. Acknowledge being Israelites. But look, these judgments is going to reincarnate themselves in your life. You see? He said, if you were not hark, if you were not for all this, hearken unto me. But walk contrary unto me, then when I walk contrary also unto you in fear. See? You're going to fear the fear of the Lord once his famine is pretty much fully presented. You know, Lord willing, he was edified to the elect to those seeking salvation through our Lord Yahweh Shah. You know, as always, giving all the glory and praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rahakwadash. Lord willing, in this video, says Shalom. And if I may say, the only way to get out of this famine is to ultimately seek the Lord. You know? Shalom.